we're doing a patty get ready with me. We're just gonna chit chat while I get ready and hope it turns out to be a decent video. I'm wearing my Daryl Dixon t-shirt. Who's ready for The Walking Dead tomorrow? It's Saturday, November 5th. Tomorrow is the episode of The Walking Dead where we get to see what's happened to Daryl since the season seven premiere. I'm nervous. I don't want them to hurt my baby. I'm gonna start off with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation for normal to oily skin in the shade Porcelain. <laughs> I don't know what you guys like better. I wanna know if you like these chit chat, get ready with me is better, or if you like the full length tutorials better because I think the tutorials are better if you're looking for like actually how to learn the look but I think Get Ready With Me's are a little more entertaining. I'm picking a Real Techniques buffing brush and buffing metal one. I was using the maybe like the same same product but in like the powder for it and I really liked the powder so I thought why not give the foundation a go. I even love it's becoming one of my favorite foundations. I think it looks so nice. It's good for my oily skin. Hello. Hello. Kill is back. This is my 20, guys. And she just left. That's my 20. Now I'm applying my concealer. I'm using the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer in Ultra Light. This is my Ride or Die concealer. And it's extremely full coverage for people like me who have dark under eye circles and want those suckers gone. And they have a really pale shade for ghosts like me. And then I'm just putting that on my nose and forehead and between my brows. Now I am blending that all out using the Real Techniques setting brush. Blending that onto my eyelid so that way I can kind of use it as a primer as well. What a concept. <laughs> Genius! I'm too cheap to buy primer. Called resourceful. This method is called I'm Broke. I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the little like puff sponge thing. Came with it and pressing it into the inner corners of my inner eye area. I like doing this because it really helps set everything almost like baking, but it doesn't take the amount of time that baking takes because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna be doing my brows. I'm using the Milani Brow Fix Kit in medium. I've shown this to you guys a million times. Just go watch it all tutorial. This time I'm doing the lazy brow technique. I'm using um, the Real Techniques brow brush. And I'm brushing all my brow hairs up and then I am filling them in with that shade. Brows done, boom. I don't even gonna go with neutral eyes because I want to wear a bold lip to match uh <laughs> get it in the frame match my shoes bam look at that i got these whoa from root <laughs> i'm trying to get in the frame i got these from root 21 whoa, whoa. they're awesome why are you staring at me root don't interrupt root taking my Milani Bronzer XL in Bronze Glow and the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. I'm running that into my crease. I do this with pretty much almost every single look I do. I use this as a transition shade. I'm applying that to my lower lash line as well with the same brush. Let's talk about camera setup and crap. If you're curious, you probably aren't, probably don't care at all. But <laughs> I use my laptop to film my makeup tutorials and it's not the best quality, obviously. But uh, I'm too broke to buy good quality stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a good SD card for my point and shoot camera, just like a regular digital camera, and try to use that for a couple tutorials see if I can get some better quality. I'm taking a fluffy brush, blending that out. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking of doing for the camera setup, at least for now, until I decide I'd like to upgrade my equipment, because I don't want to buy a ton of equipment and then like not know how to work it. Baby steps. Taking this Aziza palette, I'm gonna take the dark brown shade right here on a shader brush from Real Techniques. 
parts haven't figured it out. I'm obsessed with real techniques. Because their stuff is like not too expensive, but it's really high quality. Like reasonable price and like great quality. Like it doesn't get better. Products are really pretty. They're popping. And they were started by Pixie Wolf. So like bam. Just taking this shade into the socket of my crease to define my eye shape a little bit more and i'm applying that with my lower lash line taking that face shadow brush the fluffy brush and blending that all out i'm going to take a matte black shade on a pencil brush this one is from bh cosmetics i'm taking this matte black shade right there just like boop, done and i'm just putting that right into the outer third of my crease just in the socket like Feel where your eye is at and just boop it in place. It's gonna feel like you're poking your eye out, but that's fine. It's for the it's for the sake of beauty. No pain, no gain, people. Just kidding. It doesn't hurt, I promise you. And when you look like a raccoon, take your blending brush and blend. Blending is key. Blending is good. Blend, blend, blend. You yeah, guys like my cup oh, holds all my brushes i think it's beautiful walmart <laughs> and then obviously just repeat all those steps i just said onto your other eye unless you just want to do one eye you do you boo make the ugliest faces ever while you blend because it won't blend properly if you don't look like a maniac this is the hard candy mod quad in pink interlude looks like that and I'm going to be using this shade right here. It's, and I'm placing that just in the center of my lid to add some uh, shimmer shimmer. I need more glitter! The Hard Candy Eye Duo in 5110. And I'm taking the can shade right here as a brow bone highlight. That was charming. Glad I got that on camera! <laughs> I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cole Eyeliner in Calling Your Buff. And I'm going to apply that to my waterline. I'm going to take this e.l.f. This e.l.f. like a marker eyeliner in the shade black. I'm going to line my eyes. Done with the eyes, I just need to apply mascara. From my lashes, apply mascara. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is probably going to be the hottest clip. Because you make the best faces when applying mascara, am I right? <laughs> 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 applying bronzer. I'm using this large bronzing brush from BH Cosmetics, taking the Milani Bronzer XLM Bronze Glow. I'm just quickly applying that to my chiquita bone, going from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, and then stopping about like where your eye is, halfway through your eye. That makes a word of sense. You can see what I'm doing, just copy it. And then applying it to the side of my forehead, because I have a giant forehead. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> you know what? You know who else? You know who else has a giant forehead? Tyra Banks! Sabrina was telling me Sabrina's my best friend. One of them. One of my best friends. She's the one from the fashion video. Yes! She's the one from the Fashion Pike video. You guys know who Sabrina is. She was telling me the other day how she has a big forehead, and I was like, girl! Where? Like her forehead is like half the size of mine. I put on blush. I'm using the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones Blush in Peach Perfection. <laughs> what are you chuckling about, Giggles? Instant Cheekbones. You don't have cheekbones. You put that on some of it. That's where they went. Right above the contour, right below the highlight. So you look like Neapolitan ice cream. Because you got your brown contour, which is the chocolate ice cream. It's fabulous. And then you, well, like, who wouldn't want to look like ice cream? Ice cream is delicious. You have the highlight, which is the vanilla, and then you have the blush, which is the strawberry. Picking up my highlight, I am using the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Highlight in Rose. 
trying. It looks like it doesn't look very sparkly in the pan, but wait, wait well, for it. It will be when I edit it to be short. <laughs> I'm applying that too. Tip of my nose. It's only been half an hour. That's short compared to mine. Half an hour? And I've done a full face, hunty. Don't you judge me. And then the sides of my mouth, because I love highlight mustaches. I know some people like really want to avoid that, but I want a highlight mustache, okay? It's the most feminine mustache. Taking a pen brush, this one is from the contour set from Real Techniques. I'm going to dip that into the highlight and then, whew, are you ready? Are you ready? Sit down. Hold on to your socks. Ready? You can't see it! Oh, I gotta move. I gotta move. Buy! Buy him! Buy him! Buy him! Girl! Oh, yes! Oh yeah. Now that we look like a glazed donut. I'm gonna show you this bag. I got this bag from Rue 21. Rue 21, please sponsor me. I love your product. <laughs> All of them. Rue 21 is my store. Sponsor me. I promise I will not disappoint. I got this bag the other day and it says, this bag contains my face. And it's like kind of a shiny, metallic-y, like pink color. It's so pretty and it's funny. But I was like, can I actually put a whole face in here? But I did it and I can. I got the, the Katie Cat Matte Lipstick in Perry Panther. I almost didn't get it because I was like, well, I'm gonna wear black lipstick. But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it because how often do you find black lipstick in the drugstore? Never. The actual lipstick I'm going to apply is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Siren. And I can't talk, so. Enjoy dead air. Oh, you're <sighs> cute. I know. I mean, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my twin. If this video gets one like, <laughs> Kayla will do a comedy video. I'm, no. setting, I'm setting my standards low because I really want her to do it. <laughs> 10 likes. I don't even have that many subscribers. I have 11 subscribers now. Oh. Suck it. Wow, you're <laughs> Oh, forgive me. Hashtag, I'm the next Nikki Tutorials over right, here. Right. I'm practically Bye. Candy Johnson over here. You can shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a classy vampire. It just looks black on camera. What the heck? Hopefully it isn't like an hour long. Well, it's not an hour long. I don't think it's an even hour. Hopefully it's not really long. Five minutes. Oh. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll edit this down to five minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Do it. Do it. Please. 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 <laughs> She's over here mothering me! Fine. Please give this video a like. There you go. If you enjoy eating or breathing. Sure. No, I'm trying to get them to subscribe! <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. It's completely free. All you gotta do is hit that button down below. If you would like to, you can follow me on my Instagram at joy underscore couturier. That will be linked down below. <laughs> You can follow me on my DeviantArt at Milliac717. That will link the video link down below. If you hate my videos, subscribe so that you can watch my videos every week and post mean comments. <laughs> Are you encouraging them to, <laughs> to hate me? <laughs> you want subscribers, don't you? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay cool.